You're going to be working around fuel here, so let's take some basic safety precautions. You should, as always, be wearing safety glasses, but now's a good time to wear gloves to protect your skin as well. Work in a well-ventilated area without a source of open flame or heat around, including incandescent shop lights. The engine should be stone cold and at a minimum sat for several hours to reduce pressure in the system. But most importantly, have the proper type and rate of fire extinguisher handy and know how to use it. Begin by pulling the protective cover off of the valve cover to the rear of the fuel pressure regulator as indicated by the green arrow. Remove the vacuum hose, purple arrow, that attaches to the nipple on the fuel pressure regulator, green arrow. Once the vacuum connection is removed, locate the circlet, sometimes called a snap ring, that holds the regulator in place. Use a pair of circlet pliers to squeeze in the two holes in the circlet together, as indicated by the green arrow. This will compress the spring and allow you to remove it from the groove on the inside of the housing. It is a good idea to clean any grime or dirt that has accumulated around the regulator to prevent it from falling inside the fuel rail before you remove this ring. Once the circlip is removed, pull up on the regulator to remove it from the fuel rail. Be prepared for a small amount of fuel to come out. Clean the mating surface inside the fuel rail. Fit the new fuel regulator into the fuel rail using some clean gasoline as a lubricant on the O-rings. Make sure to orient the vacuum nipple like the old regulator. Now fit the circlip over the regulator to lock the regulator in place. Refit the vacuum line and that's it, you're done. Keep in mind that the car may stumble or it may take a few seconds longer to restart the car after you replace the regulator. This is because the fuel pump needs to build up pressure and clear the air out of the system. It is completely normal. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.